So most of the videos that you see are about the topic of not failing or basically the principles of success. But one thing that you don't hear often from me is knowledge about how to not fuck up. <laughs> and uh, this is a video meant for people who have become successful or started becoming successful in one or more areas of your life. And the point is to teach you how to avoid massive massive failure so the biggest thing that will make you fail when you grow is what I call the special snowflake syndrome it's when you start getting success and then you believe that this success is your making so you know when I look back at everything I've done today to this day all I can see are regurgitations of things that I learned from my mentors as well as a lot of things that I learned through failure but I owe nothing to myself it's either luck something I learned from somebody else or again failures which forced knowledge on me what I mean by that is when you start growing when you start you know moving up in the world you're gonna to tend to believe that you created that success that oh, now you're the reason that you're successful and that's gonna create a massive massive blind spot where you think you can fix everything you think you shouldn't listen to other people or even if you just started becoming successful or maybe even you're just at the very beginning you believe that you're um, smarter than other people more capable now it might be true that you are more capable because everyone around you are idiots but that doesn't mean you're smarter than other people because there's massive communities of people who are just as motivated as you so if you go to LA or pretty much anywhere where there's a lot of entrepreneurs you're not smarter than them <laughs> uh, you're just smarter than the rest of the group that you're in which is not very smart anyway so you really have to realize that everything you're going to achieve in this life is going to be because of other people. Other people are going to help contribute to that success. And um, you really are dependent on what other people teach and show you. So you have to really listen to legitimate warnings from other people. If you have somebody in your life who's uh, uh, successful, even somewhat successful, and he tells you, okay, this is not a good idea, then you might want to at least consider listening. Or if somebody is, who's smart tells you, this is a good idea, you might want to listen. What you never want to do is decide, oh, I'm smart, I know everything, uh, whatever comes up, I'm gonna come up with the solution myself, uh, because basically you don't respect the where you came from which was nothing and everything you did learn was basically you know through other people so really avoid this phenomenon it took me so many failures and so many crashes in life to to learn to avoid this phenomena and nowadays I'm very humble um, I still love myself I still appreciate myself and everything that I did and everything I'm doing but I aggressively learn from other people. I aggressively want to hear other people's opinions. Uh, again, especially if I respect them. Um, I don't have this sense of entitlement. I realize that everything I get is because of my efforts and that without these efforts, I'd lose what I have. I realize that success is fragile and I have to treat it as a very fragile thing and take good care of it. So I'm fairly well protected from the snowflake, special snowflake phenomenon. But again, if you haven't failed yet, you haven't had that big failure, you probably are very susceptible to that phenomenon and it will likely end up in you spending a lot of money, um, you know, just not taking proper care of your success, letting it, you know, kind of letting it go and then losing it. Um, even if you're not successful, you can have, again, the special snowflake phenomena uh, because you have so many people who you're 
you know, relatively more successful then, uh, even though you have nothing. <laughs> and, uh, and, and that's going to prevent you from seeking help from other people. Um, none of these work. So the more you lower your own value and the more you seek help from other people and seek knowledge, the more successful you will be. So it's not a sign of weakness, it's a sign of strength. So whatever it is that you're currently um, adamant about, you know, this is me, this is how I do it, this is the way, I'm entitled, I'm better than anybody, a anything you can sort of spot where you're doing it right now, let it go right now because if you don't, then life is going to make you let go of it, okay? So I hope this lesson helps you. Um, if you want more stories about what happened to me in life and how I came to these realizations, the book I'm writing will be out in just about a week. And um, other than that, feel free to ask me any questions, seek help from me, um, and you know, feel free to subscribe. And let me know if you need help with coaching because it's my biggest passion, yo. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'm off to the gym.